Good afternoon. My name is Minister Robert Lee Williams from Prophetic Information Ministries and God's Miracle Ministry, where we blow the trumpet to show far around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's Miracle Ministry to the world. Well, today is February the 23rd, 2018. I'm doing a series on spiritual deliverance and spiritual strongholds. We've already done the spirit of Hadi, the Hadi spirit. You can look on the previous video and see that. Today we're going to be talking about the deaf and dumb spirit. But I want to give you the list of everything I'm going to be teaching in the series and I want you to look forward to and tell your friends and family and pass this series of teachings around the world. Send it out to your friends and family that way they can be set free from the spiritual strongholds that the devil has tangled your life up with. Okay. Well, like I said, I've already done the haughty spirit, the deaf and dumb spirit. I'll be teaching on the spirit of slumber, spirit of divination, the familiar spirit, the fear, the spirit of fear, spirit of heaviness, the jealousy spirit, the lying spirit, the antichrist spirit, spirit of poverty. Spirit of bondage, spirit of infirmity, spirit of whoredom, and the perversion spirit. I'm going to be teaching on all those, and I pray that this is going to set you free. You know, just a couple of weeks ago, I went through a minute, you know, part of a ministry training. I went through the teaching on healing and on spiritual deliverance. And when I definitely heard spiritual deliverance, I knew in my spirit, this needs to get out. Every church around the world needs to teach on this, but they do not. They're either afraid to touch this subject or they don't know about spiritual deliverance. Well, I'm going to teach you on spiritual deliverance. And now I want to give you the list on the uh, stronghold of a deaf and dumb spirit. I'm going to tell you what it is, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to get you guys set free of this, because you're going to renounce all these things. Okay. Deaf and dumb spirit. Dumb and mute. Deafness. Spiritual deafness. Blindness. Spiritual blindness. Drowning, compulsive behavior, mental illness, madness, insanity, retardation, senility, S E N I L I T Y, and um, boy. I'm going to have to spell this one out. S-C-H-I-Z-O-P-H-R-E-N-I-A. Barcelona. Hearing voices. Hallucinations. Palsy. A-D-D and A-D-H-D and L-D. And M-P-D and D-I-D. Crippling, crying and tearing, ear problems, foaming at the mouth, Alzheimer's, gashing of teeth, pinning away, prostration, burn, suicidal, chemical imbalance and bipolar, seizures and epilepsy, self-hatred, self mutilation and self-punishment, 
eating disorders, a zombie spirit, double-mindedness, and familiar spirits of death and dawn. Those are the things that I want people to get set free from. And I'm going to go on with the, the teaching, in which I think I just lost that. So please bear with me. And here, oh, here we go. All right. Just had that below here. All right. Now we're going to go on. Deaf and dumb spirit. Matthew 13, 14. So you might want to get a piece of paper and a pen to write these scriptures down and take notes. Matthew 13, 14. Seeing they do not see, hearing they do not hear, and do not understand, no perception, knowing. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. A mind-binding spirit to keep from salvation, unbelievers and believers. Mind-binding causes darkness, no illumination, hardness toward God, willing, willing rebellion, and obstinate, unbelief, refusal to believe God. So Satan has the power to bind their minds and thoughts. See, that's why we need to get rid of the deaf and dumb spirit in our lives. What are the effects of a dumb and deaf spirit? One, cannot hear, deaf, unwilling, or refusal to listen. Heedless, dear to our warnings of imminent danger, turns a deaf ear, not capable of being effective. Number two, cannot speak, no power to speak, unwilling to speak, silent, lacking, intelligent, stupid, Born of these symptoms are dangerous in the body of Christ and also in our personal relationship with God. Number three, also please note that Jesus called this spirit foul or unclean. The characteristics of a foul or unclean spirit. Number one, not clean, vile, wicked, unholy, not pure, polluted, defiled, profane, etc. Speech, thoughts, deeds. Number two, dirty life and lifestyle, a sign of a spiritual problem, messy house, a car, clothes, lifestyle, etc. I'm sure we know some people like that. Even I know some people that have messy houses and messy cars and some wear some just bad clothes. Number three, out of order, no discipline, <clears throat> being lax or being late, not keeping their word, sloppy, untrustworthy, blame shifting, I'm sure we know some of those people. Number four, carries darkness, not receiving, reflecting, transmitting, or radiating light. Old spirit of death, old spirit of death focused, worldly ways, carnal, flesh based, cold, unbelief, fear. Defeated, depressed, down all the time, etc. Number five, lying, false embellishment, exaggeration, etc., are still lies. 
the text Mark 9, 14 through 29. Verse 18. What this spirit does. Okay, number one. Throw him down. Reflection. Low or wrong image of who we are in Christ. The devil is a liar. John 8, 44. Foams at the mouth. When we get down, depressed, troubled, what do we do? Junk, wrong words, carnal words flow from our mouths. Number three, gashing his teeth. Angry. We get mad at everything but the real enemy. Strife, hatred, jealousy. We try and blame everything or everyone but ourselves. Number four, become rigid, unmovable, religious, unteachable. Every learning, ever learning, but never coming to the truth. In worship, we have to be promoted to worship God. We do it by wrote not by spirit it is not true it is not true free worship of god we cannot be spontaneous in worship without fear or retribution another indication of this being in effect is the people having to be pulled or prodded to move into worship or into the things of the Spirit. This can cause extreme tiredness on the leaders because of the drain on them in the Spirit. Verse 19, Jesus addresses the problem. O oh, fearless generation, how long will I be with you, and how long will I bear with you? Put up with your unbelief. Something or Some believe the ruling demon over the church today is unbelief. The ruling power over unbelief is the deaf and dumb spirit. We find that unbelief causes the heavens to be brass, closed, and glory comes through an open heaven. John 1, 51. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The greatness closed heavens is in your head. We should be an open heaven everywhere we go. Unbelief creates an atmosphere that hinders God and the anointing for deliverance. Jesus could do no mighty miracles in Nazareth. He did mighty things in Capernaum. Mark 6, 5. The deaf and dumb spirit makes us dull to hearing, seeing, and understanding. The spirit affects our learning ability, concentration, memory, and probably more. In the service, we become sleepy, and then we go home and become dopey. Now, I've seen a lot of people sleep in church. Years ago, I even used to do that. 
but no more. So if you're sleepy, I suggest you try to stay awake and, and you repent of this deaf and dumb spirit. We say we believe, but we still have unbelief in our hearts, heart of hearts. Faith makes everything possible. Unbelief makes everything impossible. Meditation in the word overcomes unbelief. Proverbs 4.20 Romans 12.2 We must renew our minds. Change to transform to God over confirmation to the words belief system and its way of doing. Faith is diligent and never gives up. Stops or breaks down. Hebrews 11, 1 and 6. Unbelief, faith is failure. Unbelief is faith contaminated. Verse 29. The Spirit rejects Jesus to the anointed and his presence. It convulses him tears. He fell to the ground, foam at the mouth. The anointing can make people nervous. It causes manifestations of internal issues. Verse 21, how long has he been this way? From a young age or since being born, old bondage, pet devilish bondage can to some become comfortable of at least what you are used to. Verse 22, the plan of the enemy many times tried to kill him in the fire or water. The two things of God that he uses to bring purifications. Here we have introduced the spirit of suicide. If the individual will not carry out suicide, then the devil will try to kill him. We find the spirit coming forth with some of those who have a martyr or victim mentality, most of which have not the truth seeking these can be self-imposed. Verse 23, if you can believe. Jesus clearly stated that faith must be involved in this process. We must believe Jesus who he says he is and he will do what he says he will do. Scriptures say that when Jesus comes back to the earth, we will find faith. Luke 18, 8, verse 24. Help my unbelief, the father's heart, cry over his child. Verse 25. Jesus rebukes the unclean spirit. He called the spirit by name. Come out, you deaf and dumb spirit. A shotgun prayer will not get the job done. Come out and enter him no more. It is finished. Verse 26. The spirit tore him and he fell as a dead man. Are you not after salvation to, believe, to be as a dead man? Alive only in and by Jesus Christ. 
Verse 27, Jesus lifted him up. Only Jesus can promote. Verse 29, prayer and fasting. Number one, cry out to God and seeking him. Number two, fasting, giving up that which will hinder or interfere with our freedoms. The failure of the disciples was a prayerless lifestyle. They could not pray it out because they had not prayed it through first. Matthew 15, 30, and 31. The great multitudes came unto him, having them, those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the deaf to speak, and the maimed to behold, and the lame to walk, and the blind to see. And they glorified God of Israel. Praise God. Now, in, some, in a lot of that, we know a lot of people, and some of that even hits home. You know, we can relate to some of this, of what it, the deaf and dumb spirit does, how it ties to entangle us. You know, these are the, what the devil does. He wants to tangle you up, wants to get you confused. Want you to be deaf and dumb. We don't need that. Now, do you want to be set free? Do you know somebody with these characteristics here? Have them watch this video. And now what we're going to do now, we're going to get set free from this deaf and dumb spirit. I'm going to pray first. And then I'm going to have you renounce these the deaf and, what the deaf and dumb spirit is. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask you that you would forgive all of our sins, Lord. And Lord, as we just listen to this teaching on spiritual deliverance and the spiritual strongholds, Lord, we're working on the deaf and dumb spirit now, Lord. And I ask you to forgive each and every one of us for falling into the trap of the devil. Lord, set us free today. And Lord, I ask you to set everyone who's listening to this video and to this teaching, set them free today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Now, you want to get set free. All right. Praise God. I think you are ready to get set free. Okay. I want you to repeat after me. I renounce the deaf and dumb spirit and its manifestations in fruit. I renounce dumb and mute. I renounce deafness, spiritual deafness, blindness, spiritual blindness, drowning. I renounce compulsive behavior, mental illness, madness, insanity. I renounce retardation. I renounce senility, it's S-E-N-I-L-I-T-Y, and uh, 
schizophrenia. I renounced par paranormal hearing voices, hallucinations, the palsy. I renounce ADD, ADHD, and LD. I renounce MPD, DID, crippling. I renounce crying and tearing, ear problems, foaming at the mouth, I renounce Alzheimer's, gashing of teeth, pinning away, prostrations. I renounce burn, suicidal, chemical imbalance, and bipolar. I renounce seizures and epilepsy, self-hatred. I renounce self-mutilations, and self-punishment, eating disorders. I renounce the zomb zombie spirit, double-mindedness. I renounce smear spirit of death and dumb. Amen. And I know that you want to be set free. And you are now set free of this. You continue to pray to God and you continue to ask for His forgiveness because you have renounced everything in the deaf and dumb spirit area. You are set free in Jesus' holy name. By the power of God, you're set free. Now, don't you let unbelief ever come back into you again. You have faith in God. You have faith in what you just renounced. Just as Jesus said, go and sin no more. Don't step in to unbelief. Don't get back in to the characteristics of the deaf and dumb spirit. You are set free in Jesus' name. Praise God. I thank you for, for watching this video and getting set free. And our next video is going to be on the slumber spirit. We're going to be doing that in the next few days. So send this video out to each and every person on your friends list. Send it to your friends, your family, and send it out across the world, on Facebook, YouTube, your email list. Send it out on Twitter. Anywhere you can send this out. Let's get as many people set free as possible. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Lord, just bless each and every one out there, Lord. And I thank you for setting them free. They are free indeed. You know, you said that uh, my people perish due to lack of knowledge. Well, Lord, I'm doing my best to teach the people so they do not perish due to lack of knowledge. God, just thank you for listening to my prayer and thank you for listening to their prayer. Father, in Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would advise you to do that. Please join this YouTube channel. Check out my two websites. One is propheticinformationministries.com or godsmiracleministry.com. My name is Minister Robert Lee Williams, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. God bless each and every one of you. And I hope you enjoyed this teaching.